Welcome to O'Sullivan Guitar Work Studios and today at OGW we're going to be talking about comfort straps. So this is going to be a quick video today where we're talking about the comfort strap. This is not so much an overview as it is just a product recommendation for the viewers. So I first got my comfort strap in 2012. I purchased it through a shop in Camden when I lived in London. And when I bought it, it was actually exactly the same price as it is now, £34. So for the last 10 years, I have predominantly played bass in bands. I do record and play guitar for my own solo projects and myself, but I have not been gigging as a guitarist for the last 10 years. And um, when I have been gigging as a bassist, I have always used my comfort strap. No matter what kind of band, what kind of music I've used, my bass and my comfort strap goes everywhere with me. So a little bit about the product. If we look at the comfort strap website, it gives us a little bit of a blurb on the main page and it says there is only one original comfort strap except no substitutes. The blurb goes on to say the Pro Series bass and guitar straps provide unmatched comfort and performance. The comfort straps composite design has the soft cushion of neoprene configured to eliminate any bungee effect. Comfort strap will outperform any strap you've ever used. It is the only patented neoprene strap offering limited stretch and made in the United States of America. So the product comes in a few different design styles. Uh, there is the Pro Guitar Series Long, which is the 38 to 45 inch. There is the Pro Guitar Series Extra Long, which is the 42 to 54 inch. The guitar series features a straight strap and it is 2.75 inches throughout. The Pro Bass series comes in three different sizes. There is the Pro Bass series short, which is the 33 to 37 inch. There is the Pro Bass series long, which is the 38 to 45 inch. And there is the Pro Bass series extra long, which is the 42 to 54 inch. Now the Pro Bass is not a straight design strap. It tapers from three inch to 3.5 inch. And that's as much as you're going to get as far as specs from the website and some of the other places that are available don't have much information mostly what can be taken from the website we know it's made of neoprene it does have some stretchier materials on the top of it to uh, give it some extra flex but obviously help reduce with the neoprene any sort of bungee effect as it says a really cool feature that can be found on all of these straps is the douglas connector at the ends of the strap now the douglas connector has a main Sort of first hole that you would put over the pin of your base and that would be either at the horn or at the bottom of your base and then there is a second further down thinner strap hole that you fold back over on itself and it double secures your base or guitar in place this douglas connector offers you two interesting extra elements which is extra movability now i find when i'm standing with the bass i'm obviously got it straight down when i go to sit down at practice if i'm learning some parts or listening to some other players jam in some ideas i will sit down and let the strap sort of swing back and that gives it a little bit of freedom the second thing is ease of mind if you don't have strap locks you'll want to use this douglas collector it gives you that little extra bit of security so you can sit and move about comfortably without having that worry of the strap coming free whilst you're playing and as far as the products concerned the comfort strap was originally designed and patented through the creative efforts of jim Kuntz in his garage in simi valley california now let's talk about some competitors to the comfort strap because when i first bought mine there wasn't many around that looked anything like this and nothing that offered the option of sort of reducing pain to the shoulder or backache and nothing that looked as thick and padded apart from your standard sort of leather straps you can find in most shops and on most websites and there is one that is available on Amazon, which is the Asmuse Leather Guitar Strap, which is a 3.7 inch wide, ultra thick neoprene memory foam pad. One of those ridiculous Amazon descriptions that's got about a thousand words just to tell you what you can see when you look at the picture. And that clocks in at $15.99. Unsure of quality, it looks okay, but obviously pictures on Amazon can be very deceiving as we've all learned. I also found one called the Lakato memory foam padded guitar strap. This was a 45 to 55 inch bass guitar strap. Again, can't speak with certainty of the quality. This is one of those unknown, random named, massively over described 
straps that are available on Amazon. But this one does come in the option of red, black, or brown, and it's $21.99. And um, with a lot of these, you can get little vouchers for up to about 8%, 5% off. Now, I'd be remiss if I failed to talk about probably the main competitor in my mind with the comfort strap, which is the mono guitar strap. We know mono, we've seen their cases. I have tested out some of their cases in shops. They are amazing. They're fantastic cases. In my opinion, a little too pricey for my liking. I get the same effect from cheaper cases like protection racket cases, and I really like them. But the mono should be a decent challenge for the comfort strap. Uh, Mono's website and all the shops that I've looked at that stock Mono don't actually differentiate between a guitar or a bass strap. So I'm not sure if there is like a weight requirement or limit on any of the straps. They have pretty much kind of around the same length products. They have some short straps and they have some long straps. They have some wider ones that match kind of the style of the bass strap. Everything I have seen about Mono straps has said they're quite rigid. They're a bit too rigid for some people but then again some people don't like the bounciness the supposed bounciness of the comfort strap so i mean this is one of those each to her own sort of cases the one thing i can compare looking at the mono strap is the price it's about 50 plus pounds and 50 plus dollars when i've looked online and that's compared to the 34 pounds on average i've seen when it comes to the comfort strap now any musician who has a history of buying gear which is every musician because we can't stop buying gear it seems we'll have that kind of understanding and that knowledge just because it says mono or esp or jackson or any number of other big brands it doesn't always mean it's the best thing for the job and also that can be said the other end of the spectrum which is you know stag they've become a name that's synonymous with budget material and uh, budget products but i personally own a couple of stag products they're fantastic i wouldn't ever consider replacing them because I don't need to replace them and in some cases I paid half or a quarter of the cost of another product I was looking at from a bigger name brand. Now I'm not saying the comfort strap is ultra budget because obviously you can buy straps for much cheaper I mean I already described two earlier that are cheaper but being in that middle ground and being one of the earliest adopters and creators of this neoprene enhanced strap it goes to show you the lasting impact that the comfort strap has had and that can be sort of displayed by one specific product i saw on toman's website the product in particular is called the marlo base comfort strap now what's confusing about it is upon first inspection of pictures it looks pretty much identical to a comfort strap and it's not uncommon that we as musicians come across clones i've overviewed and and uh, done videos about clones of different pedals there's a a million different clones of TS9s and uh, different, you know, noise gates we've come across. And sometimes that can, you know, yield some fantastic results with cheaper products, with, you know, cheaper manufactured components and making some really great pedals that are like little diamonds in the rough. But in this instance, I was a bit confused seeing this because it's just pretty much a direct copy. All of the elements of the comfort strap is there. And then upon looking at the last picture, it is a comfort strap confusion yes because it has the comfort strap label on it and it's a picture that even comes from the website so i don't know if this is bought re resold under another name but it goes to show you that you know, this strap that's been around for a long time is being resold even under a different name it's still being sold on you know europe's biggest website for music supplies and uh, accessories and instruments but where i find it a bit strange is this is marketed as 47 pounds for me in English, that's obviously more than £34, which I think is strange considering you could just do a direct comparison on a place like the Bass Gallery or Bass Direct where they had the price tag of £34 for the comfort straps. So we've seen some pictures, we've heard some specs, we've heard about the conception of the company and the comfort strap itself. We've heard about some of the competitors with the comfort strap and pricing. Now let's go over to the end of the video, have a little look at the product and get a little bit of my opinion on the product. I personally own one of the base Pro Series comfort straps and have been using it for nearly 10 years now. I've used it in every band when I play bass because it does, as it says, give you a level of comfort that I have not found with any other straps on the market. 
So the Comfort Strap I use is the large model Pro Series base. Now it only comes in black. As you can see, it has a good amount of stretch to it. I've heard some complaints online that the stretch is too much when people are playing and it bounces around. I move about on stage, I headbang and play a lot in, in a heavy band, some fast parts. I don't find this springs around a lot. I think people are being a bit picky and maybe they're just used to a really rigid leather strap. Um, strap locks don't come as standard. Those are mine that I added on there. So you get the double locking system that we talked about in the specs, obviously, which is a, an added level of safety and movability whilst you're on stage. It's super solid quality, the plastic and the parts have never shown any sign of breaking. I have read some things online. People have said that the plastic and the stitching came off theirs. And considering I have had mine 10 years, and I've gigged regularly and practiced weekly for almost like that entire 10 years, I think I probably only had a maximum of three or four months downtime between bands that were gigging. So I, I've never seen any real damage that's been anything other than cosmetic. I mean, there is some cosmetic wear on the leather parts on the strap, but nothing that could cause me any concerns of it breaking when I'm playing. This is a fantastic strap. It's just, I mean, the name says it all. It's comfortable. It eases any of the stress on the shoulder. My base is not super heavy. I think it's about 7.2 pounds and it's not the most uncomfortable for shape. So it doesn't require a strap that's super comfortable, but this one just adds that level of support. And I think what's key with a strap that gets overlooked is how it holds the guitar in place. If you have a guitar that has neck dive or a guitar that is um, it's just like imbalanced, even maybe at the back end, a good comfort strap and something like this with the broadness of it will offer you a lot more stability when you're playing live. I have actually used this one on my guitar because if I was playing bass and guitar, I tend to have my guitar and bass at the same height anyway. So I find this is multi-use really when it comes to guitar and bass and it's just great quality. If you like the look of the comfort strap, go check one out. In the specs, we talked about places you can find them online. So you go check those places out and pick one up. And that's enough from us here at OGW Studios. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe and share the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can see new things coming down the pipeline from OGW Studios. And take it easy and take care.